Well, my, the minority in parliament is accusing government of deploying a huge military official uh, gang a group in the Volta region to intimidate, harass and prevent eligible Ghanaian electorate from participating in the upcoming voter registration exercise. The minority spokesperson on defense and interior, James Agaga, says such deployment intimidates eligible vot voters and actively from actively participating in the registration exercise. He adds that the NDC will not allow such intimidations by the government to disenfranchise eligible voters. Addressing the press in Parliament, James Algaga said President Akufado should immediately withdraw the personnel from the voter region. We have also been informed that in addition to the deployment of military and other security personnel, along those borders, um, some districts in the northern regions, namely the upper east, northern region and upper west, have also witnessed the massive deployment of military personnel. Now the problem with the massive deployment of military personnel is that in a few days we are going to commence with the compilation of a new voters register without any provocation whatsoever. The state has decided to deploy military personnel and platforms along our frontiers, which are also perceived to be the strongholds of the opposition and DC. Our take on the unprovoked deployment is that there is a certain scheme which is designed by government to intimidate our teaming supporters from coming out in their numbers to register. We wish to bring this to the attention of all well wishes of our country and all peace-loving Ghanaians that this recent wave of deployment of military assets and personnel along the borders in the Volta region, the OT regions, and the northern regions is uncalled for. As the minority in parliament, we think that these matters should be brought to the attention of all peace-loving Ghanaians and call on the president to cause to be withdrawn immediately the massive deployment we are witnessing along our borders. Mr. James Agaga is also questioning why parliament had been kept in the dark over this deployment. In any case, a few days ago, the government's team on COVID-19 addressed us. They never mentioned anything relating to the deployment of personnel along our, our uh, uh, frontier in the Volta region and elsewhere in the name of uh, 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 pr protecting this country against COVID-19. So that, that, that argument from the regional minister is untenable. Question is, why was the deployment not done, not done in March? In any case, do we need to deploy the military? We have the immigration, which is responsible for managing our country's borders. Unless, of course, the level of threat is beyond the capabilities of the immigration service. You don't, you don't deploy the, the military. We have been briefed. Why is it that in respect of this particular deployment, we have a parliament hasn't been briefed. We are co totally clueless. They did this under the cover of darkness. We're saying that they should immediately withdraw them. Well, there's a response to Mr. Ogaga. Uh, the Adanse Asokwa MP, Katie Hammond, says security officials are in the Volta region to control Ghana's border to prevent foreigners from participating in the upcoming national exercise. The Togolese and the, the Votarians, when I'm talking about Votarians, the Volta region, I mean, there is the kind of remember the history, Professor, if you guys know the history about this place, basically the same tribe. So they walk in, come, but they are not Ghanaians. And then when they walk in there, they can do whatever they do. So I guess uh, that is the reason for that. See, there's a classic example. You remember 2008, the, the second round? Uh, we had uh, so much, 100,000 or so votes leading from Samuels at the time of the second round. The next round, one constituency, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, which one? 
No, no, no. Get to South also. He cleared all the reason. He cleared all the, the, the whatever we had. Where did they come from? You see, so everybody from whatever they came to vote. So this is what the whole thing is about. We want to. There's we, no clear evidence to that. Well, that's what you say. There, there is, if you, those people voted, 35,000 or so at the time voted. The next one, they were, you know, everybody else on earth voted there. Where were they coming from? So this is the whole issue. We want there to be sanity. The military is there to make sure that you vote if you are Ghanaian. You vote if you have the right, constitutional right in Ghana to vote. That's all there is. There. They are not electoral officers, but they are peace-keeping force. They are keeping the peace. I want to ask that's a, no, 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 no. I mean, the whole strength of it, it's a flower is shot. It's a flower, the only whatever. So the soldiers, the immigration, the police, they, they are just maintaining the peace, making sure that there's no infiltration. I mean, come on, be, let's be serious. What is the point in going through all that we've gone through to the Supreme Court, all that, then allow a porous border for people to come through and then uh, infiltrate, and then to, uh, what do you call it, to, to, to infiltrate the, uh, this, uh, the register again? We would have been back to where we started.